Hi everybody, this is Michelle, co-author of Methylation Madness, Insight into the Biochemical and Personal Lives of Hypermethylators. I have not made a video again in a long time, but life just keeps getting busier and busier. And making all these videos, it's a lot, a lot of work and a lot, a lot of time. But today I is, uh, today's Friday, May, what is today? May, I don't know, 9th. And I had to stay home from work today. Right now, you'll say, wow, you've got, a, seems like you have a lot of energy. You know, you, you're, you're, I don't know about looking good, but um, I just got out of the shower. Um, but I feel like myself. So let's go backwards to last night. Actually, let's go backwards for the week. Being a hypermethylator, as I don't know if you guys have watched any of my videos before, but being a hypermethylator is a lot of tricky, tricky work. I had really uh, bad issues with allergies this week, as I'm sure a ton of you guys have. But being a hypermethylator, what happens is the pollen fires the adrenaline, and therefore the sulfur starts going, and that in turn imbalances all kinds of things. So I haven't been feeling really great this week, but I've been moving and pushing because I just, you know, that's just who I am. And um, I guess yesterday I got home from work and I just was not feeling all that great. So my brain was a little mushy, let's just say. So um, Olivia and I had pork for dinner and pork is a tyrosine. So pork really helps with brain function. It helps the neurotransmitters, sorry, the neurotransmitters fire correctly. You have more focus, you have more um, clarity, you don't jumble up the words. So you're able to get sentences out more clearly. Um, also, when the sulfur fires, the adrenaline fires, you become um, a little irritable, kind of just like pissy, not like really angry, so to speak. Well, maybe a little bit, but more irritable. You get a little unnerved more quickly. Um, uh, what else happens? <laughs> your your eyes become very blurry. You know, it's just like you look like you have. You just always look feel like you have like a haze. You know, in front of your face. Um, and you're just not right. You know, like you get become very thirsty. At least I do. Um, so I must have drank double my water yesterday. So it was a lot of water. So when I got home and I ate my pork for dinner, um, all of a sudden I really just started not feeling well. So I'm like, Olivia went to the gym. So I was like, hmm, did she put garlic on there? Nah, she would never do that to her mother, even when she's mad at me. Um, I just wasn't right. So my heart, my heart started beating out of my chest. Like I could literally feel my heart. Hyperventilating. Uh, I don't have anxiety anymore, but I was anxious for about 10 minutes. Like it shot up. And then um, when that came down a couple of minutes later, I wanted to burst into tears. And I'm not sad over anything, but it's that biochemical bounce that um, that I mention all the time. And that lasted for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, pacing around. I was actually on the phone with my sister and I was finding it very hard to, um, to have a conversation because I, I just can't think clearly. I didn't say anything because my family thinks I'm cuckoo puffs with this whole thing, but it's been 34 years and I feel 99% okay. So, um, I really 
just felt like shit. And Olivia came home and it was around nine o'clock and I just was like, I gotta go to sleep. But first she gave me, uh, she took, I asked her if she could take my coconut milk ice cream. So she took my coconut milk ice cream out of the freezer and I ate, I would say the equivalent of um, a quarter of a pint of it. And usually that'll knock me out on a norm. But my adrenaline was so high that it just reduced my heart rate, which was great. Not to normal, but it definitely reduced it. And then I did a lot of meditational breathing, just breathing in. I do a 21 count. You know, I'll, I'll breathe in as slow as I can for the count of, uh, not 21, 10. And then I'll breathe it out for 10 and I'll do that 21 times. And that really, um, that really helps a lot. Any type of breath work, you know, helps, helps reduce uh, rapid heartbeat. So I did that and then I went to sleep. I think I, oh, but first I took, see my, I'm all over the place. Um, first I took a serine, which is like Valium kind of, but it's not, it's an amino acid and that's what you find in coconut, which is why I had the coconut milk ice cream. So um, I took a straight capsule of serine, which I have not done in quite some time. And I took 3B complex, which will help reduce the, the, um, the histamine. So I woke up this morning, I went right to sleep. I just passed out with all that serine. It, it actually, um, it actually did knock me out. So that was good. I had a very restless sleep because I woke up and my covers were everywhere, all over the place. Um, and usually I'm a very calm sleeper. I, you know, I kind of go in one position and I sort of stay there. I flip a little bit, flip a little bit, but I'm never like all over the place. So woke up this morning, my usual time to get up, do my meditation workout and, um, which was about five ish and I'm like, mm -mm, body pain time. So I kept my alarm a little bit later and then I woke up again and the body pain that I had was really bad. Um, so this is where my, my diagnosis many moons ago of um, possible fibromyalgia came in. And when your adrenaline, so now what happened is my adrenaline went up to here and then bam, it crashes. And then it has to slowly, just sleek, 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 back up to normal, which is where I am, I would say 90% now. Uh, so the body pain that I'm talking about, it's joint pain. It's in my fingers. It's um, my neck, my shoulders, and my lower back, um, my knees, and then my toes. My toes were hurting. And it's just so, it's not like a stabbing pain. Sometimes it'll be a really sharp pain, but... Most of the time, it's more of um, like an aching pain, just like this aching pain. <clears throat> and the exhaustion, It. I was trying to describe it to, uh, to my friend Diana while we were just texting earlier. It's, it's like, not tired like you've been up for a couple days and just are working really hard. It's, it's as if, you've got this weight on top of your, your body and it's just pushing you down and, and you, you just seriously, you just, <clears throat> you can't move. You're, it, it, you're just so exhausted. So, so drained. It's like, it just, you just got wrung out. So, um, I stayed home from work today because it, I just could not have functioned at my job today the way I, I should have. And um, I was wide awake at this point. So I stayed awake for a couple hours and I just, you know, I, I had something to eat. I had more pork. 
Um, I had some asparagus, which is an aspartic. It doesn't make a difference right now with the adrenaline. And um, I had two eggs and some toast with some honey on it um, and a kiwi. So that's what I have for breakfast. And then I uh, did a load of laundry, chat, chatted with Olivia for a little while and couldn't function again. So I went into bed again. It was about, I don't know, must've been 12, 1030. And I went back to sleep. I did a progressive hypnosis, which I find, um, is exceedingly relaxing. It's very, very helpful. It's a YouTube channel. She's amazing. Um, so I put that on and I passed out until almost one o'clock and thank God I woke up and the body pain is, I would say, practically gone. Um, my lower back hurts a little bit, uh, but I feel really good right now, um, which thank God, because I did not have a headache. Now, normally this would turn into a migraine or a migraine would turn into the body pain. And I just, I am, here's wood. This is actual wood that I'm knocking on. I am just amazed. Like I, I just can't figure out what the heck is going on that I have not had a migraine for since I guess either October or November. I think it was November before Thanksgiving, which is just incredible to me. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, so that's the story. It's a little drawn out. I apologize, but that is really the situation. So what I did after I took shower was I made, um, I made a protein shake because I'm really hungry right now, but I just don't feel like eating, which is another thing when my adrenaline is so high like that, you just kind of, it's not nausea, but I know some of my sulfur sisters, they get nauseous. Oh, well, I'll tell you that in a second. Um, so I made a protein shake with pure egg, protein powder, a little bit of uh, vanilla paste, some a lot of cinnamon, and um, almond milk guava puree and the heck was it either mango or papaya I don't remember so I just I'm gonna eat that that's gonna be something really good um, so my sulfur sisters they